Uh, okay, your next comedian, very funny guy, please welcome to the stage, Mark Halverson! Hi, I'm Mark Halverson, middle initial E, so my initials are <laughs> <Atlanta. laughs> So if you're trying to remember my routine after, uh, after the show, I'll save you some time. Just, you know. <laughs> So I was walking here, uh, I, I brought my lunch as well, just in case uh, this goes south. Um, I was walking here, quite the nice neighborhood, walked past a strip joint, and uh, I saw a delivery person delivering what I thought was an obnoxiously large quantity of Kleenex to the strip joint. And all I could think was, where is Kleenex? Like, I've been bringing my own for all this time. <laughs> uh, how about this weather we've been having? The rain uh, last last week was insane. It was just falling from the sky. But it had been so long since it rained in San Francisco, I, I was a little confused by it. When the first few drops hit my forehead, I looked up and I thought, did Sin Force Tower just climb it? <laughs> <laughs> I stared at it for a little while, watching it, waiting for it to go limp like the money <laughs> That building is so phallic. Like, especially when they light the tip up purple. <laughs> and if you stand at the base and look at the translate terminal at the right angle, it looks like a hairy set of balls. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I feel like we got pumped by an architect with daddy issues. <laughs> and have you noticed how the Salesforce logo is like the same color as Viagra? <laughs> no wonder it took five years for that thing to, to get erect. <laughs> Construction jokes are fun. Uh, so my partner and I, we actually just finished a construction project re remodeling our house, and we're at the point now where we're moving back in. Uh, and uh, my, my partner's mom came up and helped us uh, unpack the kitchen, so she was helping like un un undo boxes. And, uh, at one point I walked through the kitchen, and uh, this was sitting on the counter. It's a cup that says, caution, I have a big penis. <laughs> <laughs> that means my partner's 72-year-old mother opened a box, pulled this cup out, presumably read it, <laughs> and just said it there. <laughs> like, it was totally normal. The worst part was we had to walk through the room the rest of the afternoon, ignoring it for fear that we'd have to discuss. <laughs> as soon as she left, I rushed to my partner, and I was like, Greg, I can't believe you let your mom see your caution out of a big penis cup. <laughs> and he was like, that's not my cup, that's your cup. <laughs> so we got a ruler out to figure out whose cup it was. <laughs> Now I carry it with me everywhere I go. <laughs> so the worst part about this construction project was uh, not having laundry and having to go to the laundromat. I don't know how many of you have to go there, but the one thing I'm not going to miss about the laundromat is other people's pubic hair. <laughs> they are everywhere. It's gross. I know they're not mine because I don't have any. <laughs> the, uh, the waxing salon has all mine. I assume they keep them. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but people do the weirdest shit in laundromats, like seriously. I was just sitting there one night, minding my own business, and clipping my toenails. <laughs> and, uh, this guy walks in, and, and not so discreetly, like he removes his pants, and he removes his underwear. He puts his underwear in the washer, starts the washer, and puts his pants down. <laughs> he then approaches me, and starts to engage me in conversation. <laughs> now, I had just started my herbal foot soap, so I couldn't get it. <laughs> so, I talked to him. Turns out he was on a date at the Mexican restaurant two doors down. And in the middle of the date, he sharted. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he had another date an hour later, uh, so he didn't have time to go home and clean up. So uh, he decided to go to the laundry and wash his underwear. Totally makes sense, right? <laughs> uh, so at, at some point in the conversation, he pointed at my cup and he was like, that must be a big hit with the ladies. <laughs> I was like, yeah, the ladies love that sort of thing. <laughs> 
actually, I had just seen him with his pants off, so I knew he was part of the club. So I just chugged the rest of my red wine and I handed it to him. And I was like, try it on your next date. <laughs> that was the point when he realized he didn't have enough time to finish the dry cycle. So he was like, guess I'm going commando. And he tied his hoodie around his waist to hide the spot on the back of his jeans. <laughs> and he, he went back to the date. Too far? Too far? <laughs> uh, so he went back to his date. Uh, I was finishing up anyway. I, I just finished sanitizing my last uh, load of jock straps and <laughs> put them back in my trash bag. I put back on my shorty robe and my bath slippers. <laughs> Decided to be a good neighbor and bring his underwear back to him because I knew where he was going to be. So I grabbed him, shuffled down the street, I saw him sitting outside with his date, cup prominently placed in the middle of the table. So I went up and I was like, Here's your underwear back. <laughs> I put my hand on her shoulder, I pointed with the cup, and I said, I can vouch for that. <laughs> it was then the host basically told me to leave, and I realized how much I looked like a homeless person, so I can only really imagine how the rest of that day <laughs> So uh, I, I just got a dog recently, and spending a lot of time walking around the city, and I started to notice just how filthy the streets of San Francisco are, like literally covered in shit. I know this because I, I forget poop bags a lot, but uh, <laughs> I, I was, uh, I, uh, I was walking through the, I'm really surprised at what I find, but I was walking through the park the other day and I saw the hastily discarded uh, packaging for a ball stretcher. It was a ball stretcher in my desk. I was, I was uh, curious myself, so I went and got one. <laughs> it is made out of some sort of silicone material, and uh, it says it works with any boots, any Vaseline uh, bands you can use it to. But anyway, you basically you put it on your balls, and it stretches them closer and closer to the ground. It's like, who thought of this? I could do that for free. This is twenty eight dollars. <laughs> Seriously, I've never once been walking around thinking, my balls are so tight, I wish I could stretch them out. <laughs> or I've been on a date and thought, this guy's really cute, if only his genitalia wasn't so compact. <laughs> uh, a ball stretcher, no. A ball scratcher. I think you behind that like, walking around having your balls scratched all day. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, that's my time. Oh. Let's give him a hug one more time for Mark Hellerson!